all. Thank you for coming here on this incredibly beautiful day and spending an hour inside. <laughs> you should be out in the sunshine. That is not lost on me, and I really appreciate you all making the time to be here. My name is Stephanie Wickend, and I'm the Executive Director of MusicCom. And it is my absolute honor and pleasure to be here today to kick off our 30th year. Um, the organization, if you read in the front cover of your program, the organization started in 1995. So in the spring, we'll be hitting year 30. And it's really been an incredible journey. And though I have not been the executive director for all 30 years, but thank you. Um, I uh, have been a part of the Music Comp family, though, since 2013. Um, and I I am so honored to be here today. So I am not gonna be up here for too long, but I'm just gonna take you through a couple of things that I think are really important for you to know. Uh, first of all, this is the first event of our season, as I already said. In November, we'll be having our very first electronic music showcase, which we are thrilled to be kind of casting a wider net and expanding what it means to be a composer um, in our organization. So we've always featured um, some electronic works at our spring opus, uh, but it has become apparent to us over the past couple of years with the amount of pieces we're getting in during that moment that we need to have a whole separate event. So I've been working with um, Will Andrews, or Will Marine, one of our composer mentors, to put together a great afternoon of music and learning for you all. So please keep an eye out for that. If you are not registered to be mentored by one of our awesome um, electronic music mentors this fall, please do that. If you know someone who is interested, please sign up um, and come and work with us. In the spring, on March 24th, we'll be hosting Opus 39, which is incredibly exciting, and that will be at Ellie Long in Colchester. That writing cycle opens in December, so those of you who are out there and want to start writing, uh, we just need your idea, your initial idea in the month of December, and then we will kick off in January working with a mentor. Um, and you uh, folks out there who composed for today, already have had kind of an inside look at that process with your mentor, Kyle. Um, so hopefully you're excited about the idea of doing that a little bit more. I want to thank our fall season sponsors. Uh, those sponsors are Picasso, that's located up in Stowe, and also the Alchemist Foundation. John and Jen Kimmicher, notoriously incredibly supportive of the arts, and we're really grateful for their support this season as well. If you go in there to either of those spots in Stowe, uh, please thank them for supporting young composers, for supporting creativity in the community. Um, it really means a lot to us. Um, please also notice that there are a couple of ads in the program, Bridgeside Books, which is just down the road, as well as Brave Coffee. Um, please, you know, go in there, buy those products, tell them thank you for supporting the arts. Um, again, it's really, really important to us. Um, finally, as you know, or as you may know, we are a nonprofit. So now is the time, and probably also later, and next time we have an event, and you're going to hear me stand up here and ask for your support, um, your financial support. Clearly, you are supportive of the arts because you are sitting here today on this gorgeous, gorgeous sunny afternoon, um, and we appreciate that. And we cannot program events like this without the financial support of our community as well. So if you are able, um, please take a look at the back of your program. There is uh, PayPal and Venmo codes on the back of your program, as well as a box out front where you can drop out a check or cash or whatever you happen to be able to do today. If you do donate through PayPal, you can notice that there is an option of making your um, donation monthly, kind of like your NPR or UPR <laughs> donation, right? You can be a subscribing supporter. So uh, $5 a month, $10 a month actually goes quite a long way, um, and we appreciate all of your support. Um, and now that you've heard my spiel, I'm going to introduce our incredible composer mentor, uh, Kyle Sonier, to lead us into the music. Uh, 
thanks so much for being here. I'll be uh, incredibly brief. First, uh, let me just conspicuously silence my phone. <laughs> just very prominently silencing my phone. <laughs> Um, first of all, yeah, first and foremost, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, that's, that's the most important thing. Um, if, if you want music to evolve, you support new composers. If you want music to be more equitable, you support new composers. This is, this is how this works. Uh, so thank you so much for being here and for your support of these composers today. Uh, the program, for those that may not be uh, as familiar with what we do, uh, over this summer we do a, a, an online composition workshop we met over Zoom. Um, I believe every morning for a week for, for several hours, and most of this work happened uh, in a week, which is extraordinary. We just went hard uh, for five straight days, uh, and then finished, tweaked some things to finish it up. Um, and uh, the composers all had basically, they were given this instrumentation. And this instrumentation, uh, for those that may or may not be aware of the piece, is based on a pretty legendary composition by Olivier Messiaen called uh, Translated. Uh, the title is Quartet for the End of Time. Uh, it's an incredibly heavy, heavy piece of music that we got into a little bit as part of, uh, of our workshop, um, discussing sort of the origins of the piece, the nature of the instrumentation, the subject matter of the piece. Uh, it's incredibly heavy. It was written uh, basically while in a, a work camp uh, uh, during, uh, during World War II. Um, and so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of subtext to that piece itself, and there's a lot of subtext, therefore, to this instrumentation. Um, it also happens to be musically a very flexible instrumentation. There's a lot of opportunities, a lot of possibilities, and we really had a lot of fun um, exploring all those possibilities. And what you have here tonight with seven different compositions is seven completely different compositional approaches. Uh, and that's a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And I do want to take that opportunity while mentioning that to acknowledge the musicians because the hardest thing to do as a performing musician is to completely change your musical vocabulary every four to six minutes. Um, and that's what we're asking of these musicians today. So if we could just give them a hand before we get started. <laughs> it's the ultimate in musical chameleonism, if you will. Uh, and so uh, with that said, I do want to get off the mic and let the music happen. Um, so thank you once again for being here, the composers, after this initial piece. Uh, we'll come up and introduce their own pieces, uh, and you'll get to hear a little bit more about what's going through their head. Uh, so thanks, and please enjoy.
Nicole Cerviti, and my piece is A la Fiente Va, which is French for Caution, Do Not Enter, and I'm from Winslow, Connecticut. Thanks for 
my parents. I was going to say it to my crack. Uh, thanks for my parents uh, for being such supportive people. And for Kyle for helping me do this song. Well, I don't know what he did, but. <laughs> <laughs>
currently attending Long Trail School in Dorset, Vermont. Um, my piece is titled Petrichor Dawn. Petrichor meaning, um, it's a term derived from ancient Greek, meaning the smell of rain landing on dry ground, which I thought was really interesting. Um, many of the composers and the families will know it was a particularly rainy, stormy, wet week when we were writing this, and I think it definitely influenced the piece. So, enjoy. <laughs>
First, I want to be sure to thank the Library of UCC for use of this space. They're incredibly generous and kind to offer it to us. Um, Peter Plegi um, is an incredible community member and supporter of the arts, and we're incredibly thankful for them. I mentioned earlier that we have two fall season sponsors, and I just want to say their names again and remind you to go support the Optimist Foundation and Picasso in Stowe and to offer another huge thank you to them. Um, I also want to thank Kyle for this amazing experience and our musicians up here today, um, Allison, John, Dan, and Brooke. Let's give them a round. to do this. Um, some of you have done this before. I've played at a number of music comp events, and this is really, really hard. Not only is it hard to play the music, but also there's a lot of pressure when you are playing the premiere of a student composer's <laughs> work. There's a really careful amount of pressure, and you just don't want to mess up. Um, and we know that it means a lot to you all and to your families and to everybody watching. And I know that I get more nervous for these events than I do for anything else I've ever done in my whole performing career. So um, thank you all for making this happen for us. Um, I will ask again, because here I am, it's my job, um, to please support us if you are able. Um, we have so much going on this year. I mentioned our two big concert events, but we also have an incredible partnership with the Vermont Symphony Orchestra. Um, we have two student commissions being performed this year. Um, one at their holiday brass tour that will be going on in December, so you can catch one of those concerts. And hear the work of Harrison Brown from Stowe High School. And then in February at Farmer's Night, you will be able to hear the premiere of a work played by the VSO um, by Eleanor Freeburn, Freeburn excuse me, from Mount Mansfield Junior High School. Um, it's just an amazing opportunity. We have two, our two Middlebury uh, composers got to work with some VSO musicians and Kyle actually last spring um, in our Young Composers project together. And we're just really grateful for that partnership and the many, many arts partnerships we have, including with Turn Music. So thank you, Anne. Um, we are just really grateful to live um, in this community and to be steeped in new music and supporters of the arts. Um, so I hope that you'll be able to support our organization. Um, I'm going to hang out in that front little table. Um, on your way out, please stop by and say hello. Um, we have coffee thermoses for sale if you're interested. They're really, really good. Um, and again, just thank you. Students, thank you so much um, for making today possible. We appreciate all of you. Thank you.
two reasons why I'm divorced. One is that um, I, in my all of my thank yous, I did not include Orca Media, which is amazing, and that, that they're here live streaming this event, and also we got our electronic music showcase. And the second reason why I'm divorced is because I talked about how important this was and how nervous we all get before playing these pieces, and I made everybody really nervous. <laughs> And so we're gonna do that one one more time. <laughs> and I and no sweat, it's not a big deal. And uh, I'm gonna stop talking about it before I read it again. <laughs> so thank you, Sparks. Thank you. 